as is well known, the voice of boys changes heavily as they hit puberty. But is such a change in voice also happening with females? And the short answer to this would be yes, it is. And to explain you the reason of this change in both genders and why uh, it affects one gender, uh, namely the, the, the male, more intense than the, the, the females, I will draw a boy and a girl for you. Or their, rather their outlines. L let me... What, what's happening here? Oh. So this is our guy here. His outlines. Well, I'm not, I'm obviously not that good of an artist, but I think So we don't need more of its of his body. Maybe some ears here. Well, okay, he he isn't that old, so he still has hair. <laughs> okay, that's our guy here. Okay, <laughs> that's enough for now. And next to him, we have our girl. Okay, I'm sure I'm really not that good of an artist. But you get the idea. So here, this is our girl. And they both. Oh, uh, actually, I, I need to draw something else here. The girl, that's already part of uh, the, the 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 answer to the question, namely her ovaries. So I will indicate them by that two ovaries. And also the two kidneys that are also important here the guy because what have all these these here in common and also here that's difficult to draw now because the testicles of the guy I will indicate them by that so the testicles here what have all these in common the testicles the kidneys here the kidneys of the girl and the ovaries they all produce testosterone from the time on the the individual the individual hits puberty both uh, genders begin to produce the testosterone and what this testosterone does is let me change colors here what this testosterone does is it travels it does a many things it does a, a, a whole lot of things but um, the the ones the the one thing it also does that we're interested in this video is it travels to the vocal cords and elongates them. It makes them wider and broader. Also here from the from the kidneys. Same here with the girl. Actually, it's not the kidneys themselves that produce uh, testosterone, but it's the adrenal cortex that does so. So, th that's what testosterone does. It, 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 it makes uh, the vocal cords of both genders grow, but as guys produce much more testosterone as girls do, their uh, vocal cords get uh, they they grow more than than the girls want. So um, the, the voices of guys are generally lower um, in their pitch as the the, the, the girls want. And that's a function of uh, the, the the amount of testosterone that both genders produce. So um, to finish up this video here, let me we'll do. Let me change color again because I've drawn them in yellow. 
So we will zoom in here. Just to have a little bit of a visualization what's actually happening there. So this is the girl's neck here. Here's her head. Here would be the, the tops of her hair strings. So and her vocal cords. I won't go into the details of anatomy here. I will just briefly and broadly indicate where they are. The, her vocal cords are here in her throat, deep down her throat actually. Um, some somewhere here. They of course actually they are closer together here. No, no, no let me let me draw it. In. These are the vocal cords prior to. It's not that accurate, but these are the vocal cords prior to uh, puberty. And now, as the girl hits puberty, they will increase in length and in width. I will indicate this by another color the part that's grown like that up here and also broader so like that so the vocal cords have grown and because they've grown the pitch of her voice uh, decreases it, it it's generally lower than before the puberty that's uh, what's happening there, and that's the uh, influence that testosterone has on this. It makes, in both genders, among a, a lot of other things, the vocal cords grow. Uh, 